Hi, I'm Dennis Charlebois. I'm the Vice President of Product Operations for Hexa Cyber Solutions. I have with me today Chris Carlson. He's our Senior Director of Product Management for our flagship Hawkeye G product. He's going to tell us some exciting news about a brand new release of Hawkeye G. Chris? Great, thanks very much. Uh, before I get into the capabilities in this new release, I really want to spend a few minutes to talk about why this release and why these features. We talked to a lot of our customers and other people in the marketplace, and what came out was three main challenges of security that address these companies. One is the amount of false positives and ghost alerts that are generated by network devices. I had overwhelmed security staff. It raises so many challenges on how to confirm that the endpoint was actually infected. Um, secondly, if they had to use detection mechanisms, often it was very manual. They had to go through logs, they had to look at log files and possibly do some reports and it took a long time to find if the endpoint was actually infected. In some cases, they never actually found it until compromise. And then more importantly, how do you take that and operationalize it at enterprise scale? So those are the three drivers that drove us for this big release. So how does Hawkeye G address these problems for our customers? So we created a new model in Hawkeye G3.0, and that's called ThreatSync. ThreatSync is a threat fusion and threat analytics capability that fuses our endpoint detection, our network sensor detection, and alerts from third-party devices. Uh, this first release supports leading vendors like Palo Alto and FireEye to bring in their network alerts, verify and correlate that the endpoint actually was infected with the alerts uh, that was generated. And we do that at enterprise scale because of a new real-time eventing capability. That real-time eventing captures any activity that happens on the endpoint, whether it's a file create, uh, whether it's a registry change for persistence, a network process, and we do that with such low overhead that we can operationalize this at enterprise scale. And that's all put together based on threat sync scoring model. So policy-based countermeasures uh, based on the device score allows you to do automated uh, countermeasures and actions with high confidence or support a workflow or process that already exists today with your security operations team. So those three capabilities cornered by ThreatSync in uh, version 3 really set the bar around how to do automation threat removal at enterprise networks. Wow, that's a lot. Power, flexibility, ease of use, all in one package. Come see it for yourself, RSA 2015, for a live demo. See you there.